This picture is about animal husbandry or looking after domestic animals. Once upon a time in ancient times, looking after the ground and keeping cattle was something that was done by kings and by noblemen. Um, but nowadays, only by people who are not so rich. So here we have a uh, number one, a shepherd. And he calls out, he's a, he's a cowboy actually, this one. He calls out the, the cows with a horn. He's blowing his horn. Right? And he calls the cows out of the um, barn. Here's the barn. And here come the cows, because he's blowing his horn. And he drives them out into the pasture to feed on the grass. So he goes out with them and looks after them. A shepherd, he looks after his flock of sheep. So here's a, flep, a shepherd sitting down under a tree. And he feeds his flock. He has a, a pipe, which he plays music on. Here he has bagpipes because he gets really bored sitting out in the field for hours and hours, so he plays on his bagpipes. And he has a crook here. It's got a curved top to it, and straight down. He uses it to catch the legs of the sheep and pull them towards him. And also with him, he keeps a very big dog. Here it is, a sheep dog. And the sheep dog has got a collar around it with sharp spikes, so that the dog, when it's attacking the wolves, the wolf can't grab the dog's neck and kill it. Swine, here are swine. Swine are pigs, one pig and many swine. They are fed out of a trough. This is a trough here. Right? So you may have heard the expression, get your snout out of the trough, right? when you go to the table and you start eating too quickly. And someone says, get your hands out the trough. Well, they're talking about what pigs do. Pigs all go and you put the food in. They all rush towards the trough and start eating. The farmer's wife, here she is, number 13. You can see her crouching down on the ground. And she's milking the cow by its udder. The udder's underneath the cow. And the udder contains the milk. She squeezes the teats and the milk comes out over a milk pail. Here it is. And she catches the milk in this pail. A pail is a kind of bucket. And she makes butter, and she makes cre um, she makes butter using the cream from the milk in a churn. Here's the churn. It's a, in olden times it was a great big barrel, and it had a um, a stick on top, and you'd push the stick up and down and up and down and move the cream around, until finally the cream turned into butter, because that's what happens if you move the cream around slowly for a long period of time, it turns to butter. And also, using the milk, she makes cheeses. Here they are, different types of cheese. Wool is taken off a sheep. Here are our sheep. Um, and from the wool, different kinds of garments are made. Right? Garments, different types of clothes are made from the wool that grows on the sheep. And here's the shepherd. And here is his bagpipe with the pipe sticking up. One, two pipes sticking up. And here's the bag and he's blowing into it and making bagpipe music. And here's his hat on the ground. And this man here, right, he is busy sewing or maybe he's knitting. I think he's knitting a pair of socks from the wool that came from the sheep. Here he is. And in the distance you can see the village over here.